uh, the validity of this accusation. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So any other parental names that you could give us, mm -hmm. that you could give me, right. I, I, it, it's really going to help. Right. All right. 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 Be, because when it's uh, he said, she said, you know, oh, yeah, and course. that's all you got. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Boy, it's going to be real hard to Of course, and that's not, obviously that's not what I'm going to be about coming all the way over right. here about he said, he right. said, she said. Title yeah. IX, I understand uh -huh. that. Yeah. We don't want to do, we don't want to violate any kind of title IX, heaven forbid. You know what I'm saying? We we jump through all kinds of... Every time you spank a girl, right. you're violating Title IX. Every time you spank, when you spank girls wearing tampons, I mean, girls are being spanked, and there's, it's illegal to ask, are they having their menstrual cycle? So it, it's always am, a violation. I am certain yeah. that, uh, that the state of Texas has been informed of that. I'm certain of that. I, I, I find that hard to believe that Wharton School District would be the first Oh, no, not at all. Person not at all. in the state of all. Texas to be told what you just said. Yeah, but they're ignoring Yet, it. on the other hand, yeah, yeah. the legislature meets every other year. Mm -hmm. I am certain that your mm -hmm. group that you represent mm -hmm. is bringing that to the table every time right. and saying, do you realize Ty Title your Nine state has is not violated. actually been brought to the table? The, well, the issue of corporal punishment has. I and, encourage um, your group to do that. Okay. All right, so, because so, but you why must do you understand encourage that? Why do you well, encourage because that? Because I feel bound to support the laws of this state. Right, right. But I'm right. saying, what? Is, why are you concerned about Title Nine when you're not concerned about banning corporal punishment? Because I mean, if it's girls a are being state spanked, law. right, right, right. right. I understand that. And I don't have problems supporting a state law. Mm -hmm. So if the state determines mm -hmm. we're going to ban corporal punishment because it's in violation of Title Nine, mm -hmm. you know what? We're all going to do that. Then. Mm -hmm. Right. Until that happens. Mm -hmm. We're not going to do it. Right. So, okay. So coming and that's from, our stance. Sure. Right. But mm -hmm. you do also understand, and we all understand, that as a superintendent, mm -hmm. you and the board are, are able to ban something that is already risky business immediately. This is, this is a state that has corporal punishment. Mm -hmm. I understand that. Mm -hmm. but, the, but each district has the right to have it banned yesterday. Well, of course. Okay. So you having... Mm -hmm appearing to be a caring and responsible mm -hmm. adult, mm -hmm. knowing that this is being misused, even if you were to put a moratorium, you'd be, you know, that would just show the for the kids. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, I wouldn't say I know that, but no, I no, would but say that there is no, 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 not the assumption. I'm saying that, uh, what I'm not talking about the, the cases, I'm talking mm -hmm. about the fact that girls and boys, mm -hmm. okay, but particularly girls, when they're paddled, especially their menstrual cycle, okay, that is risky business. And I'm asking you, even right here, what are you, what are you going to do that about that as superintendent? Nothing. Okay, so then that tells us right there. Where yeah, no, stand. I'm not, I'm not going to change what we are doing that is supported by state law. No, okay, I'm not so even if some girl, okay. I am not doing that. Okay, uh, so I, there's, and there's, that's, uh -huh. right, there's absolutely, you know, uh, so with you I, being in a, other words, a, there's, there, uh -huh. I right now at this point in time have so little evidence. Mm -hmm. There's very, I, I agree. There is your. I have a he you know, said, I'm, she said. I'm not right asking now. you to make a decision right. based just on good, that. Good. Of course, because obviously, but you are asking what I am asking what I you as a as a responsible, caring mm -hmm. adult mm -hmm. in a position to mm -hmm. say yes or no. I'm I'm mm -hmm. saying to you. About that moratorium. When, yes, Is that what I'm, you're asking me for? I, I'm going to tell you what I'm asking you okay. for. I'm saying that when girls are paddled, mm -hmm. it's a sexual thing. Okay, number one. Especially when you have two men standing side by side telling them to have their nose face in the book and don't turn around and brace for the blow. I need okay. to investigate. That, and that's fine. We got that. But what I'm saying to you right mm -hmm. now is that in addition to that, that it is illegal for teachers and administrators to say to a girl, are you having your menstrual cycle right now? So if a girl is wearing a tampon or having pre or post menstrual cycle symptoms, you are not allowed to ask that because it's an intrusive question. So rather than ask, you go ahead and you paddle in this, in this county. So what I'm saying is in that state, we're, in, we're, we're talking about one right now, okay? okay. Right. Because of course, obviously this happens in 21 states, but I'm just talking okay. to you as superintendent okay. of this school district. And I am saying, so what I'm saying is right. that with, 
it being the case, and it being brought to your attention now, mm -hmm. that girls are being paddled mm -hmm. during pre, post, and during their cycle, wearing inserted um, uh, uh, feminine products, and your teachers, males, no women present, are spanking girls, and they don't know whether they're on their cycle or not, you as a man, you as a superintendent, you as a responsible, concerned individual, I'm asking you, would you be willing to put a moratorium on it until you, rec until you have this not be possible to take place anymore? Not without girls in that. investigation. Of course, but, but the bottom line is, is that with or without an investigation, that's happening. I mean, obviously girls... And it will continue until I can get some more information. So therefore, if it's continuing, then you are well aware that girls are being paddled during their menstrual cycle and you're I'm not, not willing to do that. anything. No, 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 no. But the bottom I line is... I can't be aware of that, ma'am. I'm you, not there. No, no. You right. are aware of it because girls go to school every I'm day aware, and having... I'm aware the, of that because you are stating exactly, that, that could be Exactly. Right. So with that being a possibility, would you have the decency and the concern for girls and say, oh my God, even if it's a possibility, let's stop for a minute so I can investigate that rather than continue to put girls in that situation. I'm going to say that I'm going to immediately start investigating that, but I am not holding a policy that is totally and completely legal in the state of Texas. Okay. That is what I'm saying. Okay. All right. right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So so your stand is that even though you know that girls may possibly be being spanked right now during their menstrual cycle by two men. Um, with Can whether it's men or women, but I'm just asking you, Let with that being the case, you're still going to leave it for now. I need to ask one question. Go right ahead. Okay. All right. Right. Am I being taped? Um, you, right. I, I actually do have media listening on okay. this conversation. All right, so I'm being interviewed this yes. one time. Yeah. It was good. It would have been much better, mm -hmm. or I would think it would have been a lot more upfront mm -hmm. had you 